Okay, so the last part of setting up our basic audio guest book is how to create the output video for the message that is being left. So as we know, one of the benefits of using Breeze for your audio guest book is that it will convert the audio message into a video file uh, instantly. So let's have a look at how to do that and just a quick reminder of what that is. So we're just jumping back into the iPad app for one sec, and if we tap in the top right hand corner to go to our gallery, we'll see my little test um, message here. And so this is what we're talking about here. So every time someone leaves a message, it's going to create this little uh, video that's got the audio file playing as part of it. So we need to create that video file and we need to load it into Breeze via the event editor. So we have provided a Canva template um, to help you with this. Now you can obviously make this video file any, any way you like. Um, you could do it in Photoshop, you could do it in Adobe Premiere or After Effects or Final Cut Pro, um, however you choose to make videos. So the key thing is here that the video that we're making has to be the length of the recording. So by default, we have set the maximum length of recording uh, in Breeze to 60 seconds. So therefore this video file needs to be at least 60 seconds long. Okay, so let's jump into Canva. So we've got a template here. So we're just going for a square output as default. Uh, you can actually change that. And we'll make another video on how to change some of these settings as well. So let's just click down on our timeline here and just hit the play button. So this is just sort of a simple concept here, just a colored background, uh, a record, and there's a placeholder here to insert an image, which could be a photo of uh, the couple, or it could be your company logo or information like that. So if we hit play, uh, you'll see I've just put a little animation on the logo there, just for something interesting. And I'm spinning that little bit in the middle again, just to add some interest and sort of give that record uh, effect. Um, so all these can be adjusted by clicking on them um, and then going on the animate button and changing the animation settings. Uh, this one's currently set to rotate and the logo is set to wiggle, um, but you may not want that. So you could just uh, hit the remove button and stop that from uh, wiggling, which would be pretty easy to do. So let's have a quick look at how we uh, swap out that image in Canva. Um, so if you've uploaded your own photo, or you want to just want to use one of the Canva um, assets, which we'll do here, we'll just say a uh, couple portrait, just as an example. All right, uh, that looks good. So I'll grab this one here. Yep, sorry, I don't want the whole template. We want an element. So I'll grab these guys here, and what we're going to do is just drag it into this placeholder in the middle. And so now when we come down here to uh, hit, hit the play bar on the, on the timeline, I will see that they're spinning around like a record, which is kind of cool. So we've got that. Um, now, if we click on, uh, we are clicked on duration down here, so we can see that we have this going for uh, one minute. Uh, you can adjust the length of that by just dragging uh, the bar here. Uh, but we want to keep it at one minute because that's what Breeze is currently set for. So I'll keep the back of that. Uh, one minute. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can download that. So we'll hit share, uh, download, keep it as an MP4 video, and then we'll go ahead and hit the download button. I'll just give that a moment. A few moments later. Okay, so that file has finished downloading. So let's have a look. If we go to our downloads folder, we'll see it here video underscore um, audio underscore guestbook.mp4. So we will copy that file and we'll come up to uh, Dropbox. We'll go to Apps, Breeze Booth, Events, and then to the event we want Steve's Audio Party and Portrait. And we need to paste it into here. Now, it's important that we follow the Breeze naming convention for this file, uh, which just to reiterate is video, uh, sorry, video underscore audio underscore guestbook, and it's got to be an MP4 video file. So once we've done that, jump back into the event editor, and we just need to hit that regenerate manifest button. So if you're not on that screen, uh, just to go back a step, go into the event, advanced settings and hit regenerate manifests and we don't ask why we just do it because that's the rules uh, so we've done that 
and we're syncing via Dropbox. So we just make sure we're up to date there. So all the files are good. So then we can jump back to the iPad and we can do an update on that event. And it's going to download that file. So now if we run a session and leave a message, we should have the new uh, video output. Okay, so we'll come up here to the menu and we'll just tap this new one here and we can see that it's now got the uh, photo that we added um, in the Canva design. So there you go, that's how you add a custom video to the output so you can design that in Canva or any other video editing software that you prefer. And it's just a matter of them putting it into your assets folder along with all the other screen designs that Breeze require and making sure it syncs across to the iPad. Uh, any questions, just jump in the comments and let me know.